that we should propose some concrete action so that can something that can be t taken forward from here and could then be looked at eventually and together with Haro I looked at a concrete point of action you can follow the uh, text that we have developed here on the screen the rationale is that there is a need to convince the public and private sectors that the use of quality translators and translation services helps to achieve long-term savings. And I think to uh, help convince the, con uh, the decision makers of this, it is essential to provide hard data on these savings. And therefore we propose that one or two or several studies are conducted on the following subjects. The first one would be a proposal for a study on the cost effectiveness of translator training in relation to the expenditure for translation services. So this is a question of comparing how much does it cost the government to train a translator at a university and how much income, how much revenues does the government lose because they are not using and uh, companies also uh, do not use the quality services of well-trained translators. Losing, mean, uh, losing income, here I mean um, translators not paying taxes, translators not paying social security contributions because their services are not being used so they cannot pay, uh, make any such payments. So um, the proposal is that a study should compare what is the cost to government for training translators to the loss of revenues not paid by these qualified in, uh, translators in terms of social security contributions or taxes when their services are not used and uh, instead of their services the unqualified quote unquote translators are used uh, for translation services. So this would not be a study on um, what do we lose in terms of quality uh, and by not having fair trials, by not having fair, uh, good standards at uh, legal proceedings. Uh, but it's simply telling governments, um, you are investing so much into the training of translators, why don't you try to get some money back in terms of revenues, in terms of taxes and social security contributions from these interpreters that you train at a certain expense. That is the one proposal, and the other proposal is that for a study on the time effectiveness on using uh, qualified translators and also interpreters in relation to using unqualified ones. We can see, especially in the field of legal interpretation and translation, so interpreting for the courts, that uh, when you use unqualified interpreters, proceedings will take so much longer than when you use qualified ones. And the same goes for translation work. An experienced, the qualified translator can produce a, a translation at a different speed and at a different uh, pace than an unqualified one. So when uh, governments outsource uh, translation or interpreting services to unqualified uh, providers of these services, they think that they have short-term savings and they may also have, they may indeed have short-term savings, but in the long run, uh, because of miscarriages of justice, mistakes in translations and interpreting, the uh, long-term effects uh, will be very negative. So the second proposal is then uh, that uh, the qualified translators and interpreters can produce translation and interpreting output more effectively and efficiently. And this leads up to uh, long-term cost savings, for the users of these services compared to the short-term cost savings that they may obtain uh, when resorting to unqualified translation and interpreting services. So this is not so much um, a quality study but it's more of a macroeconomic study uh, which I think uh, could be launched and there is this EMT network here, universities training interpreters and translators I'm sure that in their universities there will be also departments um, for economics, sociology or business administration or financial accounting and maybe they can talk to their colleagues in these departments and we can recruit some experts who will help us collect the uh, statistical data, the hard facts, the hard data that we would need uh, for such a study that we could then propose and show to governments. That's the proposal. Thank you. Thank you very much.
So success guaranteed, I would say, just for the good order 